faith is in the eye of the beholder. I remember noticing, when I had my babies, how much I liked them, and not just loved them, but I was really into them. I knew I was going to be curious about them, and up for the mayhem ahead. I never quite understand the way society decides who is beautiful and who is not. But an open face and a capacity for kindness always feel like reliable signifiers to me. I made the war zone when I had just given birth to twins, and my postpartum frame was very much on display there. I live a soldier's life when I'm working. That's how it feels to me, except I've got a slightly greater chance of survival. I have this very strange relationship with my work, which is that it's like a conversation between me and it. I follow my nose. It's as simple as that. I am the only living person in the English-speaking world who didn't have the Narnia books as a child. I always think of the word abandonment when I think of the character. How do we identify ourselves, and how do we settle into other people's expectations for our identity? Even beyond sexuality, I'm generally interested in identity. 11 years is a great length of time to prepare a movie, it would be wonderful to have 11 years of funded preparation. As a performer, I'm constantly fascinated with the idea of being able to know what anybody else's experience is, and how misleading all informative, like appearance, can be. Art is good for my soul precisely because it reminds me that we have souls in the first place. Archetypes are always in my filmmaking. It's sometimes interesting to just flip them a little bit and see the underside. Anybody knows who lives with animals, they teach you more about what it is to be a good human than most people. Patience, good-heartedness, enthusiasm, presence, forgiveness, focus, restfulness, honesty, 